Whew. Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, we're gonna figure out if it is worth it to port your chainsaw. Welcome to Man Time. So is it worth it to port your chainsaw? And what does that mean in this context? Well, the theory I have is that if you can get a good original saw, um, you know, is it worth it to port, uh, you know, broke down saw to get what once was a stock good saw? Um, so I finally have that opportunity. I found a 272 XP. This one is a 97 model. According to Acres, it was the last year that they made this saw. Um, this one is bone stock, um, except for a uh, pipe I put on there just to give it some sort of, you know, a, a little bit of uh, a chance, right? <laughs> we got to give it a chance. But I pulled off the muffler like piston is stock, still got machining marks on it, immaculate, runs great. Uh, didn't even have to mess with the carb. Um, yeah, just kind of went through it, cleaned it up, cleaned out the air filter, uh, made sure all the anti-vibe was you know fairly good and it is and then test ran it a little bit and I was like man this thing runs really good um, so in comparison I've got this 61 you know that I fully tore down like redid with uh, bearings seals uh, 52 millimeter uh, big bore kit on it making it a 272 uh, went with some of the this was the first chainsaw that I ported so I didn't want to go like high-end, you know, Meteor or Highway, I guess would be the high-end aftermarket. I went with uh, Tecamec TT. It was actually listed as unbranded, and then it came with a TT made in Italy cylinder and uh, just the piston that TT, you know, sends along with it, flat top. Ended up putting cable rings on it. Had to go back into it several times to, you know, iron out some of the bugs and stuff. And it's a really good running chainsaw. But does it hang with a stock 272 right that's the question we're going to answer today so let's go put them in some wood uh and just see how they see how they do uh, both of them are running um c83 with uh with a file ran over them to get rid of that factory you know rolled over edge that they put on there um 24 on this one 28 on this one uh, so yeah let's go put them in some wood Well, this should be a pretty controlled test, as controlled as I'm willing to make it anyway. Uh, we'll start off with the 272, let it warm up for a minute, see how it starts. Uh, I had both of these saws warming up maybe half hour ago. Um, so I guess we'll try it. No choke, half throttle, decomp in. That's why I wanted to make this video. Um, after seeing this thing run like that, uh, it's like, what, I mean, how good is the ported one? Is it that much better? I mean, that just seems 
You know what I'm saying. I shut these saws off at the same time. We'll try this one, restart, no choke, uh, fast idle, and just uh, see if it's going to start the same, and then we'll make our cuts with it. Nope. Gonna have to try choke with this one. So just as a sanity check, I've uh, swapped out the bar and chain to the ported chainsaw. Uh, we'll see and do maybe a better comparison with the same bar and chain on there. So you saw both saws there in the wood, even managed to change the bar out, ran the same bar and chain. We've got the 272 completely stock, uh, well, not completely. I, I did what I could, you know, to make it a little bit more comparable, right? Muffler mod, big one inch pipe coming out of it. Uh, the fact is, 
it just it just doesn't compare you know to a ported chainsaw and the argument you could make is well it's more reliable it's uh, it's gonna be easier to tune it's gonna be easier to live with um, fact is for me as soon as I got done doing that test I had some more firewood to cut up right and I unbarred this chain took the gas out of it put it in my 61 the wolf and uh, and proceeded to cut my firewood with this one just having a blast like the crackle and pop and the raw power and the uh, lower rakers on it just digging through the wood um, there, there's some intangibles about a ported chainsaw that you just you know don't hear about which is you know it's funner it, it, it makes Chorin or you know dad time turn into man time you know uh, it, it's just more fun and if it comes down for me I'll trade off reliability and uh, tunability for fun that's just how it is so uh, let's take you out on me cutting up some of this firewood that I've been cutting up um, and hearing this thing just crackle pop and scream and rip through the wood and throw big chips and is it worth it to port your chainsaw? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright man, that's gonna do it for today on Man Time. Get out there, have you some Man Time too. If you like this type of stuff, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Let's uh, cut up some of this about 12 inch uh, pretty green oak. <laughs>